Hey everybody, this is Matt Bass. Many of you know me from social media through uh, Facebook or LinkedIn or one of the other platforms. Um, and I, I wanted to do an update to the Certified Fire Protection Specialist certification uh, through NFPA. Uh, I was trying to put off very quickly that NFPA doesn't pay for me to endorse this or to push this out. I just like to do it to help people who would like to go after a certification that is uh, pretty difficult to obtain because of the vast knowledge that is put into the the uh, handbooks that are for the fire protection handbooks. Um, but really, I, I like to push it because I like to help people go to the next level if they so choose. And also show the, the worth that it, the CFPS can offer um, if you go for it. You know, a lot of people ask me very often, it's usually the first question is, you know, how much money can I get from passing the CFPS exam? And I say, well, you know, not all of us do it just for the money. For me personally, I did it in the very beginning just because I wanted that next challenge in my fire protection career. I, I really didn't have the path of going towards an FPE for a fire protection engineering degree. So this was like the next hardest challenge I could do without getting an actual degree from uh, University of Maryland or RSU. Um, so I wanted to also showcase to others, you know, the path I took, the reason I did it, and obviously to educate you on the, the website that anybody can go to. You know, I'm no expert at uh, NFPA websites. I just go to the website and click on all the links and see what it does, and I read up on it, and so I, I can hopefully help others. But any of you can do the same thing, and, you know, you know, I was getting asked again about the, you know, why I go for the CFPS, and for me, it was just the challenge. You know, it's a very hard exam because the fire protection handbooks cover every, you know, pretty much every aspect of fire protection, not just ITM or sprinkler like we're used to with NYSET exams. It covers everything, and which is really everything under the sun for fire protection. So it's a lot of material, and why, you know, any of the practice you would have for the CFPS is really not memorization of the content because there's, there's just too much in the two volumes. It's really how fast you can take an, a question, read it, understand what is the keyword or phrase, use the index in, this, in the handbooks to help narrow down to the chapter to hopefully find the answer. So that's really what, you know, the, the CFPS is about. It's no different than NYSET because NYSET's the same thing. N none of us can memorize all of our codes and standards in our uh, NFPA 25 or 72. It's how fast can you, if you're posed a question, can you find the answer? Um, so the CFPS is very difficult. It's a three hour exam, uh, 100 questions, open book. You know, people say it's an open book. Yeah, go get the, go get a copy of the Fire Protection Handbook. I think it's the 21st edition. And I'm pretty sure I think they weigh about 50 pounds. They're they're pretty heavy. A lot of material is in there. Um, so you know, again, the, the exam is pretty difficult because again, I think what, what makes it the most difficult for people is because you're reading a question on fire protection items that you probably have no knowledge, experience, haven't touched it, haven't seen it. And so you know, there, usually you know, you, there's some kind of recall when you read a question. Like for me, if I read a, a question on dry systems, I can pull up. An answer, or you know, a visual in my head from a dry system I either installed, serviced, or maintained pretty quickly, and so I usually have that experience. That's part of the biggest thing for the the CFPS that makes it so difficult is you're reading you're reading a question on something you have no recall to, to know about, and now you're being asked to, to find the answer quickly and not waste too much time. So you know that's probably the what makes the CFPS the hardest. Um, and again, for a lot of us, we go for it because it's, it's just a challenging exam. It looks good on my resume. It looks good on my my emails. And, you know, people always ask, you know, why'd you go for it? And I said, you know, I, I know getting the CFPS, I was not going to make money from it directly right away. But I can tell you for a fact that on, you know, you put it on your resume. You know, I have the experience. I have the nice set. Um, I even went back and got my business degree from college. And I have the CFPS. So there's quite a bit of things I can put as, you know, my... Uh, my background for in fire protection, um, and it definitely has helped, I think, get me at least a seat, seat at the table to uh, interview for positions. It probably didn't get me the actual position just because of the CP CFPS. It was probably all of the combination of my experiences and other certifications and backgrounds. Um, but, you know, it definitely did, did help probably open a few doors. You know, I can tell you that for a fact. But quickly, you know, for the CFPS website, you know, again, anybody can go here, but I kind of want to go over a few items real quick is that, you know, it, it tells you basically here, you know, CFPS exam, who's it for, how to reset a retest and recertify reference materials. You know, this is stuff that it, each, everyone who wants to learn about the CFPS, I recommend you just go to the website like I have, click on everything and just read it. It, it gives you so much help and, they, and NFPA has done such a really good job of trying to 
really prepare you to take, take this very difficult exam. Obviously, here you can see it's the 21st edition of the Fire Protection Handbook. Right now, the price is about $750, you know, for the handbook. Um, probably brand new. You may be able to find it sometime, hopefully in the near future, maybe a used version that's maybe a little bit less. Um, but, you know, you're going to have to have those books for the exam. Um, you know, right here, it talks about, about the CFPS. You know, it gives you some good information here that can help you. Um, and, you know, probably... One of the biggest questions I get asked is, you know, who can qualify for the exam? And right here is the eligibility criteria. I would say a majority of the people that I know are probably not going to meet the first two because the first two requirements are usually some kind of a degree. The third one here, one for high school diploma or equivalent, plus six years of verifiable work experience dedicated to uh, you know, fire laws, both physical and financial. That's what most of us are going to probably qualify for. You know, I mean, hopefully there are some people with good degrees that are going to take the CFPS, but, you know, most of us are just going to, it's just going to be the six years of verifiable work experience in fire protection to some degree. So that's really what gets us the eligibility to sit down for the exam. Um, so I would encourage anybody who, who you know, is looking for that, that next challenge, if you have a lot of your, your nice set certifications and you want to go for a challenge that can help you. And again, it, it, it didn't give me instant, um, you know, monetary gains, but it did definitely over time because I got recognition, which was great. I got, you know, again, it got me seats, you know, at least to interview. Um, definitely, I'm sure, plus with all my other, you know, credentials I could put onto there. Um, but also, you know, again, it, it just looks good. You know, you, to say you're, you're only 2,000 of something in the United States is, is pretty, you know, it's, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself for going after it. And I'm glad I took the initiative to do it. And that's why I've pushed many out there to go do it for themselves as well. And to this day, I think I have helped push probably you know, almost 30 people have come, have come to me and said, because I watched your video or, you know, what people I've talked to, I've met a gentleman at NFPA this past year in Orlando that he, he took it, passed it, and he just wanted to thank me. And it was the first time we got to meet. So I'm glad I've been able to help provide that knowledge and, and, um, and hopefully push to show you that, hey, if this space for radio person can pass it, so can you. Um, and, and again, probably one of the biggest things I try to show people again is that how much inf information that, you know, NFP has provided to you. And one of the biggest ones is if you actually download the, uh, the whole, um, you know, booklet they give you, just like in NYSET, they actually give you the content outline that shows you by percentage what is going to be on the exam. So right here, it tells you fire suppression is going to take 22% of the exam. Um, you know, safety in, in the building environment is going to be 16. You know, j just like the NYSET, you don't have to get a perfect score on this. It's about the same thing. You have about, you know, 70% to pass. So if you if you can really you know hone your skills on these big percentage items, you know that's going to help you pass the exam. It's no different than NYSET. The, the strategy we would, that we would use for a NYSET exam is the same thing. You know, so attack these ones, learn these, and you know you probably will do very good on the exam. Uh, uh, NFPA and CFPS actually have a practice exam that you can actually, uh, you know, take. Uh, right here, it even talks about it's a 100-question practice exam, and I believe they give you about a year's time um, to go after it. So here I'll click on Learn More, again, just like anybody else could. Um, so for $96, you can get all of this helpful information about the practice exam, questions, which that's really what most of the prep classes teach you is just they give you a bunch of sample questions. You try to learn how fast you can, you know, read them, find the keyword or phrase and look it up in the index of the, uh, the, the handbooks to find, you know, to find which chapter then to go to and to find the, uh, the answer. So for $96, and eighty six dollars and forty cents for members. I mean, this is a no brainer. I mean, I would get this in two seconds. So again, you know, if anybody has any questions on the CFPS, I wanted to just do this quick update because uh, you know NFP has done a really good job of updating everything. They, you know, again, you have the twenty first edition of the handbook. Um, and again, you know, if you're looking for that next big drive and you know uh, to to push yourself, then I would one hundred percent go after the certified fire protection specialist uh, through NFPA. And again, like always, if anybody has any questions, reach out to me. I think most people that will tell you I'm very um, quick for responses. I'm very open and try to be very helpful. Because again, I would like to go look back and say I've helped a lot of people. Uh, it makes me. It does make me feel good. Because um, obviously, I'm not going to be an actor with this face for radio. So whatever I can do to help others uh, do well is what I really look forward to. So again, if you have any questions, uh, just please reach out.